What's up guys, in this video I want to show you how to use the order of operations with an exponential expression. All right, so if you look at this problem and you're maybe not familiar with exponential um, expressions, this could be, you know, probably pretty uh, difficult or it could look a little bit difficult and be like, all right, where should I go ahead and, you know, start first? And a lot of times, you know, I always remember like the PEMDAS, right? Parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So the main thing I want you to understand here is, yeah, we got to work on parentheses first. And we have two sets of parentheses, right? We have this outer edge and then we have this inner edge. And so the main thing is when we're following the order of operations, go ahead and find your parentheses that are the innermost parentheses. That means they are going to be within your function. So you can see that the three minus one is inside that larger set of parentheses. So therefore, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna work through this step by step here. So we're gonna go ahead and simplify the three minus one, right? Because that's in the innermost parentheses and that's just going to give me a two. Okay, and you can see I'm just writing everything around uh, again because, um, and again, if you wanna save time, that's fine. You can do some extra steps or do multiple steps in a row if that helps you out. But I always prepare to, or tell students to, you know, try to get practice with writing things down and try to avoid doing things in your head because that's usually where teens are going to make mistakes. But we just did one operation, right? We did the innermost parentheses first. Now you can see we still have two different operations. Um, our student set of parentheses. Now, technically, I wanna let you know, you don't really need to write the second set of parentheses. I did that just so I could like have the accounting and know where it went, but I think it's really important to represent. If I wanted to show representation of two times two, I could show it like that, or I could just drop the parentheses, right? And just put a two times a two, right? Those are going to be equivalent expressions there. So we don't really need to say like, oh, you gotta do this parentheses first. Like you, I want you to understand that there's nothing really for you to do inside the parentheses, right? You just have the number two. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go ahead and drop those parentheses now, so therefore we're gonna see it as multiplication. Okay, so now we still have a set of parentheses, right? We gotta focus on simplifying the parentheses. So inside this parentheses, we have two operations. We have a power, right? Two is being raised to the second power, which would be like our exponent case. And then we actually have multiplication of a negative two times two. So hopefully you recognize here from the order of operations, the first thing we're gonna wanna do before we get into multiplication is we're gonna want to exponentiate or multiply out this two. Um, you're gonna wanna take two raised in that second power, which is just gonna give us a four. Now, hopefully you recognize that I could have just multiplied the two times two. Like if I multiply two times two, was that really going to impact the four? No, you technically could have done them at the exact same time, right? But for the sake of clarity, for the sake of just showing you which one to do one at a time, I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and multiply and then rewrite that. But it is very important for you to recognize that um, if you can do two operations at the same time where they're not impacting one another, then yeah, there's no harm in being able to multiply a two times a two, right? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and now you can see that, hey, I can multiply four minus four, that's now gonna give me a zero. Okay, so again, here's where another common mistake students will get is they say, wait a minute, I should have, before I go ahead and subtract these, I need to go ahead and multiply these or something like that, right? But remember, following order of operations, we gotta do everything we can to simplify down that parentheses to therefore we no longer need it, right? I could have put parentheses around there, but remember, like, if I just have parentheses around the zero, like what's the point of it, right? So I drop the parentheses and now I just have like that value. Four minus four is zero. I don't really need zero, right? Inside the parentheses, I can leave it like this. So again, we gotta go back to our order of operations. We need to be able to raise it to a power before we can multiply these. Well, three to the zero power is going to be a one. So therefore I'm just gonna have a two times one. So my final answer is just gonna equal a two. Now, if you wanna see me simplify a order of operations with a rational expression, that's coming up in the next video.